Hey. No, ain't tree. Y'all see that big ass Christmas tree? Yeah, that's a big ass Christmas tree, bruh. Shit, it looks nice, though. Let's go look at it. What y'all niggas doing over here? Y'all having a carnival? A picnic? Nigga, is that the Titanic? I would cop a do-rag, but that should be like 500,000 VC. I'm good. What that, the Nike truck, bro? Hold on. Shit, nigga. Hey, bro, the keys still in here? Hey, bro, this your shit? Y'all got them new drawings? Everything you see here is what we got. It's all we got. Bro, nobody want these fake ass North Face book bags, nigga! Big ass Macy's tree, nigga. God damn, that shit look nice though. Shit, tall as hell. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. They got the Christmas hat on Jordan. Now nah, I done seen everything, bro. Finna go get me a jacket. Well, hi, y'all. Come on in. Yeah, you know I had to cop me one. You feel me? I'm out here doing big things, bro. You know what it is. Hold up. Hey. It's okay, bro. Just get a jacket. It'll fix your ugliness. All right, man. So we got a big game against one of the best teams in the NBA. The Cavs. They're the best team in the East. But it should be a good game. Look at that. You know Shorty feeling me. You saw that? I know y'all saw that. Just touched down in crypto. All right, MP. Ready to go get it? Born ready. Ooh, I'll catch you at halftime. All right. Yeah, get them pictures in. Brand new outfit. Get them pictures. Hey, niggas. What's poppin'? Hey, look at my new jacket. Look at my new jacket. Every year we see a few teams start out better than expected, then they regress. That's because the surprise factor wears off. Teams adjust, and the season is so long, and they're not overlooking you anymore. And the Cleveland starting five. The lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen are together inside. Donovan Mitchell out there with Darius Garland. And it's Wiggins in at the three spot. Here's T. That's good. His first bucket of the game. The first good move in a long chess match between these coaching staffs. Strategy is going to be a big part of the outcome tonight. We'll see which team dictates the style of play. Mitchell misses. Now Los Angeles with it. They're moving on after the tough loss at the hands of the Pelicans. I'll tell you what, once things started to go downhill, their performance plummeted. It wound up getting pretty ugly. I was surprised they put up so little fight. That was not the team I expected to see that night. Now here's Garland. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against the Warriors in San Francisco. And some of the passes he threaded through the defense were just incredible. He made it look so easy. James against Wiggins. Back to Garland. Five to shoot. Allen a screen. Fires the three. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. Three straight misses to begin this contest and already starting to look frustrated. And it's James with the jam. Anytime you can get LeBron something right at the rim, that's good offense. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's Garland. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Oh, my God. They can't buy one. 0 for 4. Sometimes this happens. Pass to Young. Ooh, stolen by Allen. Hits a three-on-three three fast break. Shoots from 12. The shot that time not on target. I mean, just a tough start. Missing their first five shots. Man, how about the career Thaddeus Young has had, Smitty? 
B.A., you love to have those veterans that do a great job passing out all that wisdom. And, B.A., Thaddeus has a lot left on the floor. Now here's Garland. Consistent production from him. Averaging just over 26 a game. Wiggins passes to Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Here's T. The rebound by Allen. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Pass to Mitchell. Fader on the way. It doesn't go for him. And Los Angeles the other way now. And this matchup with the Cavaliers, it's their first meeting of the season. And they swept the team last season, got the upper hand, and sustained the momentum. But hey, it's a different season, and anything can happen. He was able to simply lay it in over the top of the smaller man. Jones with the block. To the inside. And a foul called on the way up. And he knocks down the first one. And he makes both free throws. As for the Lakers, do you think this is the last team LeBron plays for? You know, B.A., he certainly wants to play with his son. We know that. Now, whether that's in the purple and gold, only time will tell. It would definitely be fun to see them both with this storied franchise. He's got to take a back seat right now. When you're ice cold, you can't just keep gunning. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. T dunks it hard with one hand. Wow, he makes it look easy. The passing of LeBron is so special. So talented at finding his wide-open teammates. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. They're passing the ball well, setting up teammates, playing team basketball, and their focus. You have to like the fact that they're not settling at all. I mean, they've really made a point to get the ball down inside and challenge that interior defense. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Nine-point game. Mobley outside. James against Wiggins. Man, that one drops for him. Never afraid of a little physical play. Wiggins embraces the challenge of scoring on a tough defense. Young with a screen on Garland. Here's T. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Cleveland has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Outside Garland. Pass to Mitchell. Back to Garland. Six on the shot clock. Allen a screen from the high post. With one on the clock. And he got the whistle on the way up. Allen has the defense and finishing that you want from the center spot, Grant. Yeah, B.A., Allen can switch on the guards with ease. Great lateral movement and contest very well. Having a center that can do that is huge for a team. On the court for the Cavaliers. They've got Evan Mobley. Darius Garland is out there with Mitchell. Then there's Isaac Okoro, and it's Anderson in at the four. Here's T, guarded by Garland. And he drops the first. Synonymous with small ball? I think it is, B.A. I mean, having players that can play small, can switch on defense, obviously play multiple positions on the offensive end, it's just a combination when executed properly could be a nightmare for the opponent. On the wing, Mitchell. Beverly defending. Shot clock at six. Launches it. 
T grabs the miss. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. And he gets it to go. 15 points in the game. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Ugh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Wiggins for three. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. Los Angeles has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Jones with a screen on Garland. And there's the lob. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Let's a floater go. So it'll be two free throws. And Anderson drops them both. Now Los Angeles with it. They'll face the Spurs at home after this one. It'll be the second of three straight games on their home floor. Beverly against Mitchell. Beverly, the pass to Jones. And again, it's the Lakers. I love the patience Beverly has developed with the ball in his hands. Terrific find. Now here's Garland. Defense right on it. Ooh, had a nice open look right there. Him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Young with a screen on Garland. Oh, there's the alley. Cleveland has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Pass to Wiggins. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Oh, and he got fouled. Team, even when the shots aren't there. He's the type of player that fits with any system. This is how you stay in the game. They're doing a beautiful job from the line. 100% this quarter. Inside. And he's going to the line for two. Jones hits them both. And as the NBA becomes an increasingly global game, Grant, there's a component of international relations that has to come into it. What are your thoughts about this? Well, it can be tricky. I mean, it's a challenge. You have to respect people's cultures and way of doing business. But yes, the game, I believe, also can play a role in bringing coaches together over the love of the game of basketball. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Mobley passes to Anderson. Mobley on a screen. Six to shoot. And Mobley throws it down. Ooh, putting on a show for the fans. Going up for the graceful reverse. Oh, that had a little extra sauce on it, Graham. Jones with a screen on Garland. Pass to Young. Out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball. He's over into this one. His goal is to provide whatever the team needs from him on that particular evening. Well, that's what it means to be unselfish, putting the team's interests first. As you say, he just wants to come away with the W. Young with a screen on Garland. To the middle. Young misses. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Pass to Wiggins. Now Mobley. Sinks another one. He's on a roll. Starting four for four. And making the extra pass. Wiggins' teammates appreciate his willingness to get it to them when they're uncovered. Here's T. 23 points his last outing. Here's Beverly. There's a screen. Over Mitchell. Oh, the offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Anderson with it. Now guarded by Beverly. Outside Mitchell. Down low. Here's Anderson. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. The Lakers have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Jones with a screen on Garland. Here's T. The Lakers with another miss. For Cleveland, they've gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Out to Garland. Mobley on a screen. 
Tries a 10-footer. That shot off. Jones with some nice D. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. Here's T. That's his six make and 11 tries. Poor interior defense. If you play him soft, he's going to kill you. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. Steps back and fires. T grabs the miss. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. The three. The Cavaliers with a rebound. Fresh off a win against the Warriors. Sometimes it's difficult to get good looks on the road, but they ran the offense brilliantly. You know what it is. That's good advanced scouting. They knew what they were in for, and they were ready. Here's Wiggins. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. So polished from this peak. So it's Los Angeles with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Getting lots of great looks, shooting it well. That's why they're up. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Thank you for joining us. Getting right to the story. Things are going well for the Los Angeles Lakers. You look at the play of their bench, this second unit is doing exactly what coach is looking for. It's a luxury to have this kind of support. I mean, I know we talk about team depth all the time, but that's been the difference tonight. All right, everybody, now that we have a minute, here's a look at the power rankings. You take a look at the Lakers, not much movement from them up or down, which isn't a bad thing. They've just shown force in their conference. Yeah, they've established themselves as one of the premier teams. Marching towards that finish line, they're hoping to build on what they've done so far. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Los Angeles has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Thaddeus Young out there with Damian Jones. Then it's Patrick Beverly. Then there's LeBron James. And it's T in at the point. So that's who Darvin Ham starts the second half with. Ooh, stolen by Allen. To the paint. Here's Mobley. Outside for Mitchell. Second chance effort. And the layup is good. Mobley's got 14. He's really finding his rhythm here. I mean, smart move to keep feeding him the ball. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Mitchell, the pass to Garland. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. No reason to go away from what's working. Here's T, guarded by Garland. Wiggins against James. Rejected by Allen. Left side Garland. This for the tie. And he comes up with a bucket. Nine points in the game. There are no easy comebacks, but they really had to dig deep for this one. Tremendous composure on display. When they were down big, they did not panic. The first one falls. And so he makes both from the line. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. Outside Mitchell. For the lead. And Garland with the basket on the assist by Mitchell. Mitchell's got his fourth assist with that last one. The Lakers trail. Something a lot of folks don't know about Donovan Mitchell. He was in the crowd during the famous broadcast of the decision by LeBron James. Coming out stone cold here. Sometimes the break will do that to you. Inside. It's hauled in by Beverly. For Los Angeles, they've gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. 
Beverly on the wing. Five on the clock. From ten feet away. Oh, rejected by Allen. Missed four straight shots now. At one point, do you have to call a timeout and regroup? Wiggins passes to Mitchell. Let's go with a three. It's another three for Cleveland. That's pretty crazy to think Mitchell. Good to you, coach. Get them a breather. Execute, guys. LeBron chose Miami. Anderson's checked in for the Cavaliers. The Lakers with the ball. Trailing by four. Young with a screen on Garland. T. From outside, off the mark. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Anderson finds Mitchell. And again, it's Cleveland converting. Their defensive effort is certainly lacking since halftime. They need to wake up. Here's T. Guarded by Garland. Here's T. Oh, and just miss after miss right now. Cleveland has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Here's Allen. Jones with the block. And it's out of bounds. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have passed. Steele trying to shoot his way out of this funk. And here comes Cleveland. A 14-2 run over the last bit. Here's Garland. Again, Garland missing. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. T with a bucket. 21 points in the game. Uh-oh, now it looks like we've got an injury here, guys. We'll likely see him come out of the game. Oh, man, I hate this. And we see it all too often. Injury is such a big part of this game. Well, the explosive moments, the quick change of direction, a lot of stress put on the body. Rubio's checked in for Darius Garland. And here's Allen, an aggressive player on offense, scoring around 16 a game. Back to Anderson, outside Rubio. Mitchell against Beverly. Allen with a screen on Beverly, four on the clock. And so he draws the foul. Energy with all these blocks we've seen in this one. And you also have to respect the pride they take in playing defense. They've been able to get some takeaways because of their activity level. Here's T, covered by Rubio. Pass to James. And it's James with the jam. Boy, as a roller, the strength and speed of LeBron, tough cover for anyone. Rubio with the ball. 12 points for him. Wiggins outside. Back to Allen. Outside for Mitchell. From deep three-point range. The shot comes out. And Los Angeles the other way now. His offensive output just isn't there tonight. But his teammates have found a way to pick up the slack. leading outside Rubio kicks it out to Anderson three-pointer off the mark it's so hard to keep the defense honest when you miss wide open looks like that down low James and it's James with the jam Rubio passes to Anderson. On the wing, Mitchell. Allen with a screen on Jones. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. The Lakers have gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. Allen brings a double team. The three is up. Cavaliers with a rebound. 
Allen's got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. Anderson. And finished off by Anderson. And we think of Donovan primarily as a scorer first. But there, fantastic pass. And it's out of bounds. Now Mitchell. He's putting up some terrific numbers. Over 28 a game. Clock at six. From behind the arc. Doesn't go that time. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. And Cleveland shooting 41% in this game. All right, time for an injury report. Let's find out the news on Darius Garland. Allie, what's the update? Hey, guys. Cleveland's head athletic trainer gave me an update, and it looks like it's a severe ankle sprain. It's a serious injury, but they're hoping he's avoided any structural damage. And losing a player as the season really hits its stride is going to be tough for them. Hopefully, it's a speedy recovery. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Always on top of it. Yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. Even with the advancements in strength training, injuries continue to impact the game. And we're seeing that across all sports. Guys are just getting bigger, faster. The human body can take only so much. On the court right now for Cleveland. The lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen are together inside. Isaac Okoro is out there with Donovan Mitchell. And it's Wiggins in at the three. The small forward. Outside Young. Back to Jones. Here's T. Checked by Mitchell. Here's T. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. And the first one at the line. Both good from the line that time. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Now here's Mitchell. Pass to Wiggins. Green on Richardson. Outside for Mitchell. Just four to shoot. Connects from downtown. Mitchell's got five points now this quarter. After a lackluster first half, he's taken charge offensively. We'll see how the defense responds. Jones with a screen on Mitchell. To the middle. Jones' his shot is good. And this is just typical of him making an impact at crucial moments in the game. It's the fourth quarter and it's a close game. You want to get the ball to someone you can rely on. Pass to Okoro. And it's out of bounds. The Cavaliers able to retain possession here. He's disrupting their offensive flow. Reeves has checked in for Richardson. And there are the Cavaliers with another bucket. When you can't get all the way... The Lakers trail. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Outside Young. Pass the tee. And the layup falls. 25 points in the game. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. Here's Mitchell. Floats one. Jones with the block. And he recovers it. Goes back up. And that one's good. Mitchell. Putting Mitchell in pick and roll situations. For a young player, he makes good decisions. T with a bucket. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's the fourth. Outside Mitchell. T grabs the miss. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. The first free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Left side Mitchell. 
A little mid-range shot is up. Again, the miss by Mitchell. The Lakers have got all four shots to go in this final quarter. Here's T. And he banks in the layup. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. The Cavs trailing. Pass to Allen. Outside Mitchell. Back to Allen. And here's Mitchell. Just five on the clock. Jones with some nice D. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Hammers the lock. Here he goes. Pass to Allen. Nails the baby hook. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. To the inside. Young. Yes, it's good. And the Lakers lead by three. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Mitchell into the lane. And Mitchell with the slam. I like that Donovan Mitchell's not afraid to attack the rim. He finished strong. Here's T. Checked by Mitchell. Beverly outside. Here's T. Chalk up two there. 33 points for him. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. Mitchell, the pass to Wiggins. Down low. Here's Mobley. Oh, he can't miss. Eight for eight after that shot. Zero rim protection. Unforgivable in a tight ball game like this. And I love the play call. This is where you get the ball into the hands of your closers, where they can do something with it. Here's T. Checked by Mitchell. Here's T. And that one hits the back iron for Cleveland. They've gone 8 of 12 so far here in the fourth. Pass to Mobley. On the wing, Mitchell. Back to Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. Coming down the stretch. Checked in for Okoro. Here's T. In close, he hits it. And the Lakers lead by one. Can't ask for a better look when they needed it most. Using his height advantage inside. Rubio passes to Mobley. Back to Rubio. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. A crucial moment in this game. Rubio unafraid to take it upon himself. Pass to Jones. Ooh, stolen by Allen. On the wing, Mitchell. Checked by James. From deep. Jones grabs the board. Jones has got rebound number seven tonight. Here's T. Pounded by Wiggins. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take... If you don't want to play DMP, we'll find somebody who does. He drops the first one. And that ties this game up. And so he's good on both free throws, and that gives him a lead. Yeah, that's who you want stepping to the line when the game is close. Mitchell up top, Beverly defending. Mobley, a screen on Beverly. Here's Mitchell. The Lakers for the rebound. 
Earlier they held a 23-point lead. Pass the tee. It's James on the wing. Beverly outside. And again, no good by the Lakers. Cleveland has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Mitchell against Beverly. Now here's Mobley. It's Wiggins on the wing. Mobley is screen on James. Wiggins. Pockets four. Mobley, no good. James, outside. Pass to Young. Here's T, covered by Rubio. And here's Beverly, from downtown, and nails the train! Oh, whoa, that is... Keep this energy, guys! Keep the wind coming! And finds Mitchell. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Throws good, and it's a six point ball game. Huge. They had nothing on you, MP. Nothing. So it's the Cavaliers now. Six point game. Here's Wiggins. And he was fouled while in the act of... And Wiggins drops them both. And they stop him. the first one and that puts him up five and so he drops them both and it's a six point ball game eight seconds left in the fourth quarter here Wiggins from long range the shot misses and so it's the Lakers with the W this one was in the balance right until the final seconds. NBA, they showed their character when it mattered most, sending those fans home happy. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Thanks for joining us tonight. So long and good night, everyone.